Welcome to Party Poker Premier League Poker. Every player has now played two league matches and things are really hotting up. In action this evening, Phil Helmuth and defending champion Yuha Helpy desperate for points. Defending champion Yuha Helpy has yet to get going. And last year's points leader Phil Helmuth has barely been on the board. What the fuck, man? I mean, is it possible he's only quack in hot air? I think when you put the great players in a corner, somehow they get out of the corner. They think they're gonna beat me every time? When you put the great players' backs against the wall, they come out fighting. What do you think I am, an empty seat? Let's see what happens. Every Premier League poker player has played two matches and Tony G is titanic on top of the world with 18 points. Andy Black and Roland DeWolf Still going well with their wins in the promotional zone, nine points apiece, and Eddie Scharf with eight. The three of them are all in action today, so there'll be some jockeying at the top. In the playoff zone, Kravchenko with eight points, Vicky Korn and Annie Duke, two good results apiece, and Marcel Lusk with six points as well. But the relegation zone, it could be do or die for Phil Helmuth. He's in action today, as is Ian Fraser and Yuha Helpy. They either have to get busy living or get busy falling. And the Devilfish, he's got to get his head together and get his game in gear. I, I don't care, one with King High. Premier League oh. Poker, this uh. is heat number five, and the drama is set. <coughs> Will Roland DeWolf come back from his bagel? He's still in the promotional zone with nine points, but the two desperate men on the table, Phil Helmuth. Yuha Helpy, huge, <laughs> huge results there, last year. But in the relegation zone right now, the defending champion. Ready to roll, and I'm thrilled to be joined. Always honored to be sitting beside the Flying Dutchman, Marcel Lusk. As far as guys like Helmuth, Helpy, and uh, Ian Fraser go, if you're in their position and you need to get points, it, do you want to go for it early or sit Pass. back? I will, I will put pressure straight away. I will play one. as many yep. hands as nice. if I can and then put them on the test and put pressure on them from the off. No, let them know where I come from and what I'm up to. And then let the poker god be with you because you have to make the stand. It's like a Tony G game, what he does. And it works. He went down deep, but he came back and he wins it out straight. Well. And I mean, it looks like that's what Helmuth is doing. He's played the first hand under the gun with a nine jack. Yeah. And uh, do you think he's come out here with a sort of a different no, game plan here. rather than just last? He, he has to. I'm, I'm known for not being on tilt the last few years. Do you think out of the six billion? <laughs> do you think I can't tilt. I mean, the people you, play so badly. Out of the six billion people on the planet, would you say you're the it's least? It's not good tilted? enough when you say I'm the best player in the world right. because I've got 11 bracelets. Let's be honest. Well, Ten years ago, I was uh, quite tilty. I, I know no, he got the most billion. bracelets, but that's where it ends no, because he's a very good Holden player, but so are the other players on the table. There are some of them who have moves Phil may not ever have seen that they exist. Look at Holden the Wolf yeah. with his six dues off suit. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty it was incredible, great, wasn't it? it? So when you lost oh. like six blinds oh. in the cash game... Well, you know, already we're, we're seeing Ian Fraser, Phil Helmuth playing pots here. Sharps raised this one. <laughs> Well, to 5,000, yeah. and he's got two callers in the blinds. Up, uh, wow. One of the players, Tony G. Look at this hand. Eight, seven. I checked uh, top pair to him like 30 times, and I never won a pop. And, uh, Eight, and three. Okay, that was one nice, pot of uh, many. Flop for All right. Fraser. As, uh, Eddie's bet it was second pair. Would you be raising well, here you if you were in, or do you just is calling all right? Uh, yes. I, I, I would not open up myself for a re-raise because I cannot call a re-raise with top pair with the medium kicker. So I would call it to see what's going on on the turn. If he's coming out betting, I know he's playing top pair check. most of the time. Like now he check, I will put pressure on. And that's what Eddie is doing as well. 10,000. Is this tough for Ian now to, no. to make a call? Well. He's got he's got top pair. I no, mean, I, I've. I, I wouldn't find it tougher to make the call. I just play the hand like this. If I play in it with a top pair and a medium kicker, I'm in it, then I cannot go back because he's betting out. What should he be afraid of? Then he should lay down the hand in the first place when he 
when, when somebody bats because he cannot expect his kicker to be good. This pot's getting bigger and of bigger. Course. And uh, I have the feeling that Scharf is just gonna gonna check this on the river, isn't he? He has to check yeah. it on the river now. If, if Fraser has a draw, he, he's he's beating him, and if Fraser's got an eight. 15,000. Scharf knows he's losing the hand as it is, but he still pays. He don't like it at all. Ah, 15 was only to stop you betting 25, I think, Ed. Yes. I've got an eight. Oh. You're going. He feels sick now because this is not in his category of playing. Can that's why he feels sick. Uh, but that's the hammer that's you get in the in beginning. And then you're going like through the ice, you know, like, well, I'm in the water, I have to swim. Right. And, and that's how Eddie's feeling now that he's way hey, behind right. already. <laughs> yeah, it's a good pot for Fraser, but for Eddie Scharf, that river bet, Marcel, the difference between him having 75,000, which is three quarters of his stack, and 62, which is closer to half. But I mean, he had not you know. so right by the looks of it. It's like a boxing match between six people. They, they try to push each other a little bit around and feel the strength. If I say I can't remember, would you believe me? And what did you I say? Mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think you all would believe me. No, I, the tension I is getting bigger. You believe because, that you remembered what I you mean, had. Jua is waiting there, <laughs> boiling inside, <laughs> trying to not showing it outside. Race, Phil is trying to be very friendly. Sharp has raised this to 5,000, and Helmuth defending from his big blind with not much of a hand, but it is leading. Check. It. Check. He's checked dark. Check. And a sharp check to give this up. Turn card coming. It's a nice bet. 3,000 from Phil. And you'd think Eddie would be done with this here. But no. Race to six. That bet's going to win it. And, you know, six years ago, or, or maybe longer, when Eddie Scharf won his bracelet, Helmuth feels like it was his bracelet. He was at the final table. Scharf has been in Helmuth's head from that point forward. You must be a better player than me, Eddie. Didn't you tell me that I've never beat you? I never beat you, right? No, you never beat me. That's what you said, right? Well, up until now, I mean... No, always that's what he said. Always thinking of the big picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. He said, you never beat me. So that means yes. if you beat him, you can go out with it. And these yeah. players, they know <laughs> how important it is for Phil to do well here. Doesn't that mean they can put pressure on him? Oh, they will put pressure on him. And, and they're well aware of that. Phil is just hope for the poker god to give him a hand when they put pressure on him. To come out and say, this is the Phil Helmut I wanted to show you. It's a good start from the razor, uh, but uh, Helpy. <coughs> is it up or down? Cool. He still played yeah. very yeah. conservative. <laughs> Lay back. <laughs> he doesn't get too involved early, does he, Yuha? Uh, no. <laughs> he's, he's playing a very good game, even when he did not better bet than you did before. made it. Time. That's far. You know, I don't know what that goes. <laughs> he's a player in the field that will always be there, having a chance. To win the tournament. He's led at this with just ace high. Now Fraser's got the middle pair. Uh, how should he even think about this? I mean, oh, he feels he's in a bad spot because he don't know what he's up to. He has no spade. There's no overcard there. And even when you are at the eight, he has probably a better kicker. Cool. Just calling to see what Yuha does on the turn. If you are betted out on the turn, there's no change. He cannot call the bet anymore. That's like a good card for you. It's a very good card for you. But will he bet it now? Because he might take the advantage of getting a free card. He bet it. And, uh, it, you know, if he bets... 20,000. That's like 20,000. He knows if, if he loses this pot at this stage... I mean, it could, it could... He's ready to bet the river if the board doesn't change. Because you can see Ian is on the you pressure. See Jesse, they keep pushing me around. You see, that's not Don't good change. what Ian is doing now because he will be very surprised if he shows a set. You know, Ian is telling like, I mean, I'm under pressure. I don't, I don't see him calling that. 
Really? I cannot see him calling that. If he calls that, wow. I don't know where he get the idea from that his two eights are good. And uh, if he uh, looks over at Yuha, does Yuha give anything away? He's he's kind of got that statue thing going. No, he, you he can't re cannot read Yuha. No, he's gonna he's not gonna call it. Even when he grabs his chips three times, I don't see him calling it. <laughs> yeah, he's laid it down, and uh, I'll tell you what, well, Fraser feels like he was on the line, but for healthy. That could be the pot that gets him back in this it's Premier easy. League. Uh, of course, uh, not a huge oh, one, it? but it's was just it giving him a little confidence oh, early. Oh, there's supposed to be a minimum. I'm supposed to have a minimum, even if I run bad for all six Nobody matches. has uh, really knocked themselves out yet. I mean, uh, Eddie, of course, short stack, but 75,000 is plenty. Oh, it's plenty. Yeah. I'd rather go the other it's direction. It's really plenty. If you listen to Phil, Steady. he said, Eddie? like, He's, he knows he's down, he didn't perform the Fast first two heats, and Let's he chose like he Fast had bad hands and he had bad luck and he had, you know, the fact is that he wasn't willing to play in the beginning, and last year when he was running that good and won four heats, he got hit by the deck. I checked to you, Eddie. Check, check. check. Speaking of getting hit by the deck, this is a great flop for Eddie Scharf, but he's well, checked it. It's funny because uh, Helmut got a pair of sixes with the Ace of Hearts, feeling strong, and eight. Now he's going to play it, and he's behind. And of course, Eddie is going to call Jack Queen or two eights, one of the two. Eddie's uh, played Phil very well so far this series. Once he hit a nine. Wow, it's a beautiful flop to play Phil. Oh, Check. look at this. Check. Eddie would love that one. <laughs> How much should, obviously, Eddie wants 8, to get 000. called here, yeah? You see, he he oh. pays so quick, and he feels so sick about that. Look, you see it on his face, he gets sick, he nearly throw up. Because it's 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 a big part of the game to have that pot, you know, it's a big difference. A 40,000 pot That's on, on this stage line. is bringing you yeah. up or down. It's a fast Eddie play. I guess he out <laughs> he outplayed me again. Just keep trapping him and trapping him and trapping him. They Can't help no but he has 10 left. 9, he makes trips, he makes straights, he makes flushes, he raises with hands he's not supposed to play in bad position. Fast? Cool. It was a joke. No, it wasn't. It well, wasn't Phil ends up with the no. snowman. Let us know now. when you make a joke. So yeah, I, I will let you know if I make a joke. Okay. I'm just going to call Phil. Cool. That's Tune a, in next week, he might make a That's joke. the kind of call that Yuha made that shows he knows what I kind like of hands Phil is capable yeah, of lifting no, in like with, right? Because he making, he's, taking, he, he's taking his position and just oh, call yeah. and not Fast risk Eddie. anything. See the flop, see what he's going to do. Nice flop for Yuha. Check, yes. check. 7,000. 7,000? Now Yuha is under pressure. Does Phil have a queen? Oh, With two players behind you, uh, I'm, I mean, are you surprised that he just called? You, huh? I mean, would there, would you have preferred to raise? Look, 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 What's look, Sharp look, gonna look, do? What, what cool. He's just got ducks. It's, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, he, I mean, an ace could come, and Eddie still wouldn't know if he's ahead or behind. Well, he, is, he is ahead. Look at diamond ace is coming, and look at Phil is trying. No, to he use cannot. The ace. He cannot. He's squelched here. Twenty-seven thousand. He's betting out. That's great poker play, but on the wrong moment. It's risky. He's walking risky into play. a monster. Do you think? I mean, does you all regret that he didn't raise this flop? Uh, he don't know where he stands. He think if he puts Phil on a queen ace, then he think he have only a diamond draw. And he have to put 27,000. I think it's a great bet from Phil, not knowing that Eddie hits his ace and I, still in there. I, I, I mean, Marcel, I mean, that 27,000, it's such a big bet. that I mean, Yuha would never imagine that Phil's bluffing here. No. It's not like him in 2-4,000, no. is it? No, Yuha is counting the pot and his odds. If he will get the rest, if he get pot odds to call it, and he got like 11 outs, according to his imagination. Jeez, he could fold here. It's unreal. Cool. He calls wow. it. Look, Eddie. What Eddie said. Wow. Eddie called 
a bit improved and now facing the fact he didn't know he, had, he don't know he has the best hand but he certainly cannot just call this one so he need to stick it in or fold a two pair aces and dues because he might walk into aces and queens and he's only two cards of course Phil is, is pretending that he have the biggest hand betting it out even when the ace came I like the play of Phil yes, very much. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, I mean, Eddie's decision here, the fact that he's got eight points right now. Wow. Yeah, I told you, he feels like. And now you has the favorite, but Phil could win this on the river. Yes, sir. Phil could win it on the river. <laughs> yes, he played great. This is a great play of Phil. He has to bet. If the die. <laughs> He have to bet it now to win it. And he goes only. Oh, my. Oh, my. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. There's 91,000 in there. He cannot check any. Well, he cannot win if he checks it. 24,000. Oh, <laughs> and and you you has under uh, pressure too. He's only got two points. I mean, I mean he can't. He played it, his hand great. He played this hand really nicely, and you was gonna lay down. Look, he's counting. He goes like he don't feel like he have a chance to win this one, but this is the biggest pot of the Premier League for Phil Helmuth and for Yuha. Yes. It's great play. It's great play. You have to admit that he took the use of the ace, betting it out on the flop like he had the ace queen, followed up when the ace hit, getting, walking into a situation where he looks at this possible straight, and he still bet it. That's the only weak spot what Jura could imagine, that why should Phil still bet it if a straight comes out there? But Phil knows Jura cannot have played tanking. Oh, my. And if Yuha calls here, he could be knocking Phil Helmuth out of this Premier League. It's a big decision. And it's a great play for Phil Helmuth, without a doubt. And I think Yuha's going to lay down. He wants to see it. He wants to see Do it. Do you have Queen Jack of Diamonds? No. Oh, no, now Phil's talking to him. If I had that, I would have called you in, in a second. But oh, Phil opened his mouth. Oh. Phil opened his mouth. Phil opened his mouth. Well, you got it. Oh, he opened his mouth. I think mean, he had him up he till then. He gave it away, oh, opening. Yeah. And look look how Eddie Sharp must oh. feel now. To you. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, but he knew I was about to call. That's why he tried to touch yeah. his last weapon. Oh, then he started Why did he open his mouth? Yeah. He opened his mouth to start yeah. the talk, and then wow. he gave you yeah, the, the touch. You yeah, didn't feel like it. You know, Phil, if you didn't save that 5,000 to yourself, I might have laid it down. Boy, oh boy, you, huh? Well, that's the truth. You are, uh, you are really special, buddy. <laughs> You find a way to needle you. you no, find a way to needle somebody when you beat them for all their chips. I'm not needling you. Boy, you're not needling me. No. How can I? It was obviously a needle. You might not it's understand that for some reason, but clearly it was a needle. Okay. Well, sorry, sorry if it was. You could. It wasn't meant to be. I don't mind. I'll never needle you. Trust me. Yeah. Phil Helmuth, he won bracelet number 10 against Yuha Helpy, but this past year at the 2007 World Series, number 11, and now he holds that record alone. Winning 11 was amazing, it was the one, I mean, you know, I mean, I've, I've never held the bracelet lead alone. Channel hit 9, and then I'll hit 9, and then Doyle will hit 10, and then Channel hit 10, and then I'll hit 10, and it's just like boom, 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 now boom, I'm 11. Shannon Brunson are 10. I'm hoping in 2008 to win 12 and 13. I like to think big. If you're going to go out there and you're going to break records, there's always a question of whether you deserve to break the records. You know? And if you don't feel you deserve it, you won't do it. And so 
you know, perfect integrity and honor is a weapon that allows me to achieve great things. Still six-handed, and Phil Helmuth, who prides himself at getting out of pickles, is in a rare one here. <laughs> Down to, what was it, five or six thousand? He's left himself about a thousand back here, Helmuth. I'm guessing it's implied. Four-handed here for the flop. Tell you what, this is the quietest the table has been in the whole of the Premier League. Well, if Phil gets quiet like now, because it's it's it takes your voice as well if you're running out of chips. Check. You don't feel good. You don't feel like talking, Check. and and you need to get back on your feet. So look he, what he needs. <laughs> look at this. Oh. Look at this. Phil's got a thousand left. He's flat two pair. And he <laughs> and he, he don't want to bet this. it because he wants the maximum out of it. Oh, yeah. I hope an eight doesn't come for the sake of Oh, my God, Phil this Sanity. is a bad card for Phil because now anybody could have a straight. Why has he not bet the last thousand? I don't know. It's, it's like put a thousand in, get the maximum. Look, Check. now he's going to bet Check. a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's going to pay him off with the nine. Look, the nine is going to pay off. And he's called the Queen High. And give him the thousand, and then... Oh, I think I might win this one. You might win this one, yes, <laughs> Phil? Listen. No. And it's nice to get the bonus of 2,000 out of there. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you, I would like to see Phil win another two, three pots. <laughs> Phil's preparation for these matches, he always walks around the table, but today he got off on the wrong I didn't foot. Care. <laughs> yeah, but if I fall, I won't hurt myself. I know how to land. <laughs> I hope I don't stumble in the seat. The poker brat might be struggling on the table, but his side bets are keeping him in the money. Well, we were riding over in the limo today, all the players in today's heats, and we started making a bet on what happened on a heat where Devilfish had two threes and Tony G had two fours. I claimed that Tony G was all in. All four people in the limo said that wasn't true, and they started betting me. I was convinced I was right. The, the killer was that Eddie agreed, so that completely made me sure. I bet $20,000 with uh, Andy Black, $10,000 with Yuha, $10,000 with Roland, and $5,000 with Eddie Scharf. Uh, and I would have gone for 100. I was so convinced. I would look like such an idiot if I would have lost, but. $45,000 I won in the limo ride on the way over. It's unbelievable. Yeah, baby. So yes, everybody in this heat behind by a lot of money. Welcome to the Premier League poker. <laughs> well, either that or he's just a calling station, one or the other. No, there's something you were doing. He's a math guy, so he thinks, all right, there's 100,000 out there. He bet 27. I don't really know what's going on, but I'll call. That's why it's funny. I actually thought you, you have 10 check. That's why I called. Huh? That was rough. Yeah. I think he gave it away when he started to talk. That's why uh, he put him over here. I'll tell you what, this is huge news for you, huh? not just hands, but just the situation. He's got 200,000. There's still six players in. I mean, uh, he could be right back in this Premier League if he gets uh, five or nine points here. Yes, and that could mean that uh, we all have a problem because he's not the worst player in the field, is he? This is a dangerous flop for you, huh? Dangerous because Fraser's got him Check. strangled. So I lumped in with two eights. I finished in third. Did you beat them too? Yeah, the ace is up on four straight. Up. Right, you ace is up. Pot, Queens guys. with a flush draw. You see, Roland announced it now like, hey, go on, guys, we're in the pot. They played. Raised to 30,000 total. A button on big on. blind pot before, yes. and yeah. Helpy bluffed him, didn't he? And this time, yeah. Fraser says, have a little of this. Yes. No, he can, he's not going to call it. Because he's wa he's walking into a trip of an overpair, and I I don't see him calling unless it's it's not enough to lay down your hand. 
And, and he, he knows, good. you know, the kind of hands that Fraser's played this uh, Premier League. Could he put him on A7 here? Well, he could have. Could, could A8 it? Yeah. would beat him. Yeah. Any overpower, any pair of nines. Would you go for five outs if you have to pay how much more? 78,000. So it's like getting two and a half to one for your money and only having five cards to your imagination wow. to improve. Wow, might get a point here if I make the call. And that's not good. <laughs> Very nice. That's so sick. A7 in. You see? It's yeah, like a seven to one situation. Right. And he's, which is. he's putting he's trying to put him on the hand the one hand that he could beat, but he's not even that big a favorite, is he? If that's what Ian has. What do you want me to say? Ask me another question, go on. Do you have A7? Might have. Might. A7? Would, would you like me to have A7? A7 would be nice. No, he's not. Yes, he's oh going my on. gosh. One pair. And you think this is a mistake? Yeah, it's yeah. Yes, I think it's a mistake because the best he can get is that. Ian draws for 11 outs twice. Really Other than that, he's miles behind. Wow, he's totally dead. It's looked like very he's uncharacteristic terrible. of Helpy, <laughs> and uh, he's only got two outs in the whole deck. It's a bad call yeah. at this moment, and he understands that because wow. he gave him a different card. So he had a misread, and he still got two outs yeah. now on the end. And that's not it. You see, even when he had given him 7-8, he would have lost the hand now with a 4 in the end. Phil Helmuth gave his chips to Yuha Helpy, and Helpy passed them right over to Ian the Razor Fraser. Last year, Pete was saying, who? Phil Helmuth, yeah, 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 yeah. Ian, who? Who's that? Do you know what I mean? And um, I showed him I can play. I think a lot of people have uh, seen that I can play. They're all still skeptical about my game, and um, if I'm around long enough, they'll see I can play. And uh, I think that's what I bring. I, you know, I haven't got like uh, gold bracelets, World Series, and EPTs, WPTs. I haven't got anything. I can play this game. I can play this format, and I'm very hard to beat. All of a sudden, Fraser, 242,000. Look at uh, that. Look at the, the feel. It's amazing. The defending champion and Phil Helmuth. Today's not getting any better for him. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know what you're doing. You call the raises in the big blow in 10-6. So we don't know what you're going to do. We don't know what you're going to do. That's <coughs> true. It was obviously he was going to start on me, wasn't it? He I just hope the, to hit a couple of cards. Yes. It was obvious. The Luftwaffe was on my case. It was obvious he was going to start on you. He always picks on the bad <laughs> players. This is uh, cool. picks on the weak players. You has <laughs> you has going to really have to uh, like fill up the series. Settle himself Rest down. Just, them. He could go all in here. Wow. Well. No, no, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> that was a bad. But he had ten. Jax is okay. Even Aces <laughs> is okay. <laughs> Does he have to take risk already? He's still 87,000 he got to play with. He needs points as well, doesn't he? So I don't think he want to be under that pressure. When you've made one wrong decision, Marcel, it, 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 it's hard to get the next one right, isn't yes. it? It feels like you you miss a lag. The first time you make one, you get picked up immediately. I feel like no matter what you do, it's <laughs> going to be wrong. You talked me into believing it. I know. Don't forget, you, you, you might call you, this one, you and then you still need you to hit something to have something. <laughs> <laughs> Can you shut up? I'm trying to make a decision. You know, you always do the same thing anyway. So. <laughs> uh, all of this getting involved in the hand, um, while you are trying to make up his mind. Yeah, I mean, I, when Roland sits down at a table like this, you don't know what he wants to happen more, for him to have a good day or for Yuha to have a bad day. You know, for, for, for him, it's kind of, these guys are kind they're of They're very close to each other, I but, know, they're, but they're playing each other like... Yeah. Trying to clean each other out. <laughs> they're closest friends and the worst of enemies at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're hysterical. 
Come on, man. Wow. Wow. Andy Black is not going to call that one. Wow. I was just thinking the difference, Marcel, is that Andy Black's got nine points and Yuha's got, I think, three. But you know, you can't call. You cannot call all in with two sixes. No, it's it's too much. Seventy-three thousand more with two sixes. No. But you know, Andy is Andy, and he's in pain now. You can hear people go like, "Oh, why did I race?" You know, like. But you are going like Marcel. Uh, I mean, I feel like Andy may have not been on his game the first heat, but. He's Can he's I'll really to looking you. good today, you know, and I mean well, he's looking good, feeling good, but still the mat works wow. out that a call like this puts you in a position either your small favor or a big dog. What's we what's we got? Yeah, you cannot expect your Seven opponent three. to have two fives all the time when you get two sixes. Well, you got a pair. Well, that's this. That's the question. That's the, that's the key element in this. Wow. So I don't believe. Call. Oh, wow. I just want to say I don't believe he's going to call it. He yeah, still called it. King, queen. Ace, queen. But you know, after doing a great call like this, you're still only a small oh. favor. I know, but you know, I, I don't know. I, it feels like Black may have oh, the momentum on his side. Yes. And I mean, Andy, Andy can afford to lose this as far as the Premier League goes. It if you ha. What, what are you Yuha loses this. Uh, he, he, he might get no points. He might get no points. Got all his chips in the middle. So. Let's see. Ten. Oh king. No. <laughs> Ten. I mean, they're going to have to count oh, these. If the king comes, a queen, oh, a jack, an ace. Come on, Andrew. Dodge a couple of bullets. Wow. Yeah, he's got outs. Lots of them for Yuha. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <Diamond. laughs> <laughs> now he got even more. It's, so good. it's like Come he got on, black and low. 18 cards. Black and Six low. is no good. Black. A diamond. Yeah. Black, black and low, low, he says. Two of spades for Andy Black. Come Most on. of the rest for Yuha. Naked. Yes. Oh, oh my, my God. Gosh. That's wow. a big flop. Amazing. Is that an all in call? I've got exactly the same, I think. So oh, they're going to have to count these down, Marcel. And it actually Sandy means quite a bit because uh, even if Yuha has one chip yeah. here no, left, it was, it was very strong. He, he can still outlast Phil Helmuth. I don't know. Might no. be exactly <laughs> the same they have. Okay. I'm lucky you <laughs> Zero points again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, no. God. Roland's no, giving him a bagel. Show us what you want. Roland has given him the bagel. <laughs> <laughs> It's the funny side of it. You I can take it. You don't feel good with it. Stunning, stunning stuff. Defending champion Yuha Helty out the building. And uh, Helmuth needs. Jeez, uh, I think he. I think he'd settle for just outlasting one more player here. Uh, Marcel getting two points. Maybe. I'm, well, sick. I'm a math guy. When it was exactly well, if he can. Maybe that's a good sign. That'll be exactly I, all in. I knew he had 73, six. and it looked oh like my God. exactly 73. And he picking up. This is bad, bad news for the Razor. Look, he's going to raise and bagel for you. We raise. He's got two points. It's a 38,000. And uh, I do you think in this sort of oh. format, can Ian get, get off to get away from this? Very hard. Come he can. Yeah, all in, all in. Wow! 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 wow. 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 That's great. wow. You know, I mean, finally things had started to go well for Ian Fraser, and this, you know, he's he might have been frustrated with his play in some of the other heats, but this is just a cold deck situation, Marcel, well, isn't it? It is black all in. And uh, there's the ace but, again. Uh, well. so, yeah. We need two more diamonds or two more queens, so a diamond will spice it up. Cool. Oh, no, it's no way to win it anymore. It's like 100% sure. Cooled out. And uh, Andy wow. Black. Getting a very good shape. Mm. Wow. You yeah. won a heat already. And, uh, Looks like Andy. the... Look at Andy. <laughs> double, double. <laughs> My form, basically, over the last two or three years is I've led more big tournaments than anyone else in the world. You know, I've gone deeper probably in more huge tournaments. In the majors, you could say, you've got the Aussie Millions, you've got Monte Carlo, you've got the World Series. 
um, you know, I've, I've got a, a better record of being in the lead <laughs> more than anyone else. But I ain't very good at converting it yet. Last year, my mantra was winning is a distraction. This year, my mantra is, man, I gotta win, you know, I gotta win. It's too painful, kind of like not winning, you know. When you're feeling good, things go well for you, don't they? Look how many chips he's got here, 350,000 after only 28 hands, 29. This might be a heat that's gonna be over very quick. I uh, think Roland the is uh, the one who can, could take a big bite and with Andy. And because he's, uh, half the chips in front of he's always oh, looking yeah, for yeah. this <laughs> angle. He's yeah, dying to double Just up. that one pot against Ian had over half the And he's playing chips very conservative this, this game. Yeah. He didn't awesome. find too many good hands to play, but he stayed out of trouble. <laughs> and I've got, I felt like an amateur, I've got, uh, all in, all in, cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I couldn't awesome. believe it. Well, he's not going to call that one. That's it. Yeah, I think, um... You know, it's like similar to what happened to you, huh? When, when, when it starts going against you, Marcel, you have so much trouble making decisions. Yeah. You know, you, you feel like whatever you do is going to be wrong. This actually here, the re-raise would be a... Uh, if he would re-raise all in, then he would be in good shape. And he would probably fold it. But it is quick. only A7. Yeah. <laughs> he don't know that. You know, he got an ace. It's five-handed. Might be the best hand, but you got somebody came in with a bat and a race, so pretending and presenting a hand. Cool. He's going for the call, and I just, Marcel, this seems very halfway. I mean, if an ace comes, yes, yes. he does, still doesn't really know where he is, no. does he? No, it, it, it's, it's a play I don't like. I, I would mark my ace seven there. I just take it for that and Check. get on with my life, <laughs> with my tournament life. Yeah, Eddie's uh, checked this flop, but I, I think if he had made a big bet, it would have that's uh, no. there is 26,000. Uh, Eddie out should there. make a bet now, you know, like mm. 18,000. All in. Oh my god, wow, wow, wow. and uh, Fraser, wow. he showed it. Wow. He's he, oh, yeah. okay. Great he caught wow. Eddie there. Well, that's what happens when you play fast. Holy eventually, they play back. <laughs> what a play! Now we can see oh, that. Oh. Uh, Mr. Tony. Fraser over there does have moves. <laughs> I mean, come on. Out here. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, you got to give the man credit. <laughs> oh, Strong <God>. move. <laughs> uh, your last three no, I think four. everybody at this table's <laughs> been all in except for. Uh, Try to get him off. Or call, so. except for the wolf. Who? <laughs> what was the line on that? Well, oh, he's going here. I will fold. Pass. And, uh... Oh, he's gonna pay. That's what Phil wants. He's like 60-40. Right. Then he likes that. Does Eddie want to, uh, oh, to re-raise or just call and no. try and check it down with people? Get the if point, anybody knock else calls there, then there's more money. Right. And they're gonna check it down. It should sure be sweet that. if I can win this. But I'll look at the hand. One. Phil wow. holding That's the best right hand. Yeah, it's great and he shirt. gets... Not compared to that stack, but <laughs> it's like he hit it even. Ace ten. He's in very good shape, unless a jack or a king comes up. Twenty-one thousand Helmut will have if he can Ace. hold the water can I have a call here. Call for a card. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. he got hit by the king. Eight thousand. Really? <sighs> okay. Oh, th th this is. Uh, and now uh, helmets all in, drawn to only a couple cards. Yeah. Phil, Phil got sick. It's looking like one point. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never beat this guy. He said I never beat him, so. A little bit well, unlucky to get that like this, but. I don't know you know, why. when you're low stack, Phil you have no come. way to defend your Shut shot. Shut up, Andy. Or it might be a king. <laughs> keep, on, <laughs> keep, keep, keep on talking. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the end of Phil, who was actually showing that he played great. Great. You think move. anybody's relieved him out? Me? 
Yeah. Yeah. He did. So freaking good against he was, he was great too. What a <laughs> hand that was. What a hand well. that was that he played this evening. But only one Levi. point, and uh, Eddie Sharp <laughs> takes him out. out <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. It's almost like I'm being cheated. I never have a fucking hand in three days here. It's unbelievable. I've been all in three times. I lost all three all ins. It's a dogfight now, uh, four handed, when you think that there's five points or more for second and only two points for fourth. And considering how low Helmuth was, he's done well to get a point here without lasting you high. When I had 5,000 and he had 250,000 or whatever, to come back and outlast him was pretty crazy. And, uh, you know, it felt satisfying to do that. And even the last hand, if I win that, I have 21,000. And I'm right back in there because my chips are always worth twice as many, maybe three times as many as the Premier shit in the Premier League. So when I'm short, when I have 15 chips, it's like 45 here. I mean, they're worth so much more because I know what to do. A lot of the guys really don't know what to do. Welcome back to Premier League Poker, a league format where players are awarded points in the standings based on their finishing position. Yes. Looks like the wolf is shoving. King yeah, nine. Yeah, the fourth and oh gosh, well he's gonna get called here. Mr. Black. <laughs> like Mr. Black. Could Mr. be fourth Black. place for Roland, huh? Well, cool. he still got an overcut. Yeah. I mean, he can Black. still hit this king. This is the moment for Roland. There's a, uh, oh, about a starting stack in this pot. <laughs> on Ireland, he hears the left there. Two points on tap for DeWolf. Huge stuff for Andy Black if he can swing this one through. Yeah, it's really a nice position to have. Oh, look at this. <laughs> but you know what? Roland went from I three outs well to four me. outs. Yeah, he did. Yeah. The jack for the straight. The seven. Three outs. Mm, it's only three jacks now, isn't three it? Three jacks now. There's a nine. Oh, right. Oh, unbeatable today. Not much for Roland DeWolf tonight, Marcel. Uh, he wasn't in many pots, was he? No, he couldn't Good get luck. from the ground. He was trying to spread his wings. Go Ireland! Fly up, but it didn't work. Look at this. Has, has Andy Black lost a pot yet? <laughs> he's uh, won everything he's put his money into. 400,000 and Eddie will be on three or out. We called getting no points of bagel. Uh, I started saying that uh, in the last few days, and people have sort of caught on a little bit. It comes from the tennis. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to get, bring a bagel for whoever got knocked out, as long as it wasn't me. It looked like it was going to be Phil Helmuth, but you, we got you are even better. Two points, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, Sharf is yeah, obviously... But it's, but it's two points. It's a big difference for me. Not you so know, much he, I think... He, if you think about all the Premier League heats he's gets played, he gets down to the league. final three so many times. <laughs> but uh, there's a knock against him about closing the deal. Do you think he kind of... Yeah, for nine. You know, he really wants to, to go for it, doesn't we he? I mean, yeah, that's well, what this, this has been played in six heats, and not in yep. one. All in. So cool. All in and look at four. this. Oh, my gosh. You ain't got me cold decked again. Cold oh, and oh. every time. It was a... Big call by That's Fraser, uh, right. Marcel. But look at was, the he, he, Yeah, he called over 100,000 more. No, he went all in and he called it. No, uh, on, no, Fraser made it 18. Andy went all in in the big blind. And, oh, uh, wow. wow, wow, wow. But, um, no matter how it went. Yeah, there was going to go all. It's too it, big for three-handed. Like three-handed ace-jack is like a small monster, isn't right. it? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, look at this, right. jack. And there's oh, the leave jack. Off, Eddie. <laughs> wow. Sorry. It's clubs. Is that allowed, Marty? You can hit like uh, another 12 cards. Oh, wow. That was a great he card for Fraser. Needs. Yeah, Black needs the club now or the queen. Well, he needed a club. Or Could a be a huge double up for the Razor. Oh, I didn't like that. What a sack wow. of shit. Wow. That's the club. Wow. Yeah, well. Well done, <laughs> go Ireland! <laughs> it's a little bit needling if you get like three well, jacks yeah, on the sucker. turn I mean, and then still lose the hand. Either you get a hat where you're so no. much behind. I I'm not but him this him is poker. You know? I wanted to win that one, you know, and worst way to come second. 
didn't happen again. I mean, uh, you know, Andy's done me twice now. Uh, I was a massive favourite before the river come down. You know, he was dead to a club, and um, that's how it goes. I'm out. Well, Andy Black started off as a zero in this Premier League, but now on the verge of sealing his second win. Chris. Okay. Could go quickly to Premier League hero. Total. I'm all in. All in. Cool. Cool. Straight race. <laughs> no. You got a pair? That's the first question because you have a pair and he looks like <laughs> Come on, Germany. Come on, Germany. Come on, Ari. Come on, Deutschland. You can see by Sharp's smile that he, he's not upset about this. There's 206,000 in the pot, Marcel. Since, uh, uh, no, yeah. He's got a slight up, so. edge. He got a slight edge. He knows it's a thin line with pocket twos against the ace-10. It would be worse if it would be 10 jack. Keep it small. But like this, he's a little bit more favorite. And uh, now it's like uh, nine cards. Uh, please, not the six. The six, the 10, or the ace. And of course, the running pair small. would do the trick. It's a nine. Mm -hmm. So he still got 12 cards. One more card. That could knock him out. A three will do. Ah. Oh, my God. It's the ace. It's all Good over. Game, At least we're, we're the first people to end it at the 3-6 level. It's been a well-played yeah. heat. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I mean, uh, worthy winners and uh, points for Sharf and Black. On, on they're going to be, uh, they're gonna be yeah. tough. Unbeatable. Come on, Ireland. Mexican wave. Five matches into this Premier League season and the top four, it's the promotional zone. These four will go straight to the final table. Andy Black feeling good as co-leader, though Tony G has a game in hand. Good start for Eddie Sharp and Roland DeWolf in the top four. The playoff zone and Kravchenko, Duke, Vicky Korn and Marcel Lusk will all be in action next week and looking to cement their positions. And in the tough relegation zone. It's been a good week, though, for Ian Fraser. First top three finish, though he's still in the bottom four. Disappointing again for Helmuth. And the defending champion, Helpy, striking out yet again. And the Devilfish, he'll be in action next time. Gotta get that suit in work in order. I'm like a Cheshire cat to get my second win. It's great. Feels good. You know, these are times in poker when things feel good. Everything goes right. And the deck hits you in exactly the right way, and you don't make any stupid mistakes. Yeah. Next time, the league leader, Tony G, sits down against the Devilfish. Who needs help? Next time on Party Poker Premier League Poker.